December 26th, walk in the light. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 1 verse 7. To mistake freedom from sin only on the conscious level of our lives for complete deliverance from sin by the atonement through the cross of Christ is a great error. No one fully knows what sin is until he is born again. Sin is what Jesus Christ faced at Calvary. The evidence that I have been delivered from sin is that I know the real nature of sin in me. For a person to really know what sin is requires the full work and deep touch of the atonement of Jesus Christ, that is, the imparting of His absolute perfection. The Holy Spirit applies or administers the work of the atonement to us in the deep unconscious realm as well as in the conscious realm. And it is not until we truly perceive the unrivaled power of the Spirit in us that we understand the meaning of 1 John 1 verse 7, which says, The blood of Jesus Christ His Son cleanses us from all sin. This verse does not only refer to conscious sin, but also to the tremendously profound understanding of sin which only the Holy Spirit in me can accomplish. I must walk in the light, as He is in the light, not in the light of my own conscience, but in God's light. If I will walk there with nothing held back or hidden, then this amazing truth is revealed to me. The blood of Jesus Christ His Son cleanses me from all sin, so that God Almighty can see nothing to rebuke in me. On the conscious level, it produces a keen, sorrowful knowledge of what sin really is. The love of God working in me causes me to hate, with the Holy Spirit's hatred for sin, anything that is not in keeping with God's holiness. To walk in the light means that everything that is of the darkness actually drives me closer to the center of the light.